We are to find the sine of x over 2, cosine of x over 2, and tangent of x over 2 from the given information. We're told that the cotangent of x is 5 and that the angle x has a measure between 180 degrees and 270 degrees. We will need the half angle formulas for the sine and the cosine and then we can use these to find the tangent. So we'll draw a circle and recall that the cotangent is found by the ratio adjacent over opposite. And if the cotangent is 5, then we can write that ratio as 5 over 1. So if we place the terminal side of the angle in standard position, it would exist in the third quadrant because we are told that its measure is between 180 degrees and 270 degrees. And temporarily, we'll just call this angle theta. So the point where the terminal side meets the circle then would have coordinates negative 5, negative 1, since it's in the third quadrant, and the x and y coordinates are both negative in that quadrant. We could redraw this triangle a little bigger so that we can label it and work with it. Since it's a triangle, I have not written the negative signs in front of the 5 and the 1. We're just noting that for this triangle, this vertical side would have a measure of 1, the horizontal side would have a measure of 5, and then we could find the hypotenuse using the Pythagorean theorem. So 1 squared plus 5 squared would be equal to c squared, which would give us a hypotenuse of the square root of 26. We see that in the formulas for the sine and the cosine, we will need the cosine value of x. Since we're in the third quadrant, the cosine will be negative, and its ratio is adjacent over hypotenuse. So that would give us negative 5 over the square root of 26. We're also going to need to have an idea of where the angle x over 2 is. We'll need this because we see that in the half angle formulas, we have plus or minus signs. So we have to decide which do we use, the positive or the negative. And that will be determined by the location of the angle x over 2. So since x is between 180 degrees and 270 degrees, x over 2 will be between 180 degrees divided by 2 and 270 degrees divided by 2. So x over 2 will be between 90 degrees and 135 degrees. So this tells us that the sine of x over 2 will be positive, since that's in the second quadrant, and the cosine of x over 2 will be negative, again because x over 2 will be in the second quadrant, between 90 degrees and 135 degrees. So let's start with the sine of x over 2. The formula is the square root of 1 minus the cosine of x, which is negative 5 over the square root of 26. And then all of that is divided by 2. We could factor a 1 half out of this. And so under the radical, we would have 1 half times 1 plus 5 over the square root of 26. The cosine of x over 2, we've decided will be negative. And using the formula, we will have the square root of 1 plus negative 5 over the square root of 26. And all of that is divided by 2. And again, we can factor out a 1 half. So we would have 1 half, still under the radical, times 1 minus 5 divided by the square root of 26. And of course, there will be a negative out front. And the thing that we know about the tangent of an angle is that it can be found by dividing the sine by the cosine. So finding this ratio then, we would have the square root of, and I'm going to separate this as the square root of 1 half times the square root of 1 plus 5 over the square root of 26 divided by, and again I'm going to factor out the 1 half and then multiply that by the square root of 1 minus 5 over the square root of 26. And of course, there will be a negative out front. Then we can cancel the 1 halves. And so we would have 
negative square root of 1 plus 5 divided by the square root of 26 divided by the square root of 1 minus 5 divided by the square root of 26.